And also I wanted these things to have um, an emotion <clears throat> and honor them, uh, you know, their, the lives they've had in a way that's different than just a trophy. You know, to really spend time with them and, and think about them and their life. And, and it's not necessarily an ecological statement. You know what is endangered is our relationship to the natural world. That's what I'm, that's more what I'm interested in than, you know, our relationship to it. It's sort of a, an invitation. There's a headspace there that could be worn on the shoulders, and it has been worn before for, for a very short period of time. But it's mainly just an invitation to, to occupy a bear and to um, feel what it's like to be a bear. And I know that sounds kind of silly. And like I said, I sort of dreamed this, and I made it. And then I started studying about the power of this. And our Native Americans would uh, wear the skin of a bear to occupy, to understand the, the spirit, to inhabit the spirit assume the spirit and um, that with that in mind I went ahead and made the rest of these things do uh, these are uh, full of spirit but not full of the animal itself and what I was thinking here is I was looking at the chrysalises of a worm a caterpillar after it turns into a butterfly the thing that's left behind is this delicate paper so to get this brown paper that I got um, from a, online somewhere that's acid-free, uh, looked like a chrysalis to me. It's really thin uh, tissue paper. And so using the same method of going over a taxidermist form, I'll cover it with this tissue paper and then cut it off and assemble it. But it's the idea of whatever's inside is gone. And this is the chrysalis. Like, why would that buzzer be on the bird? <laughs> Bear's head. And I don't want to give that away in the title, and I don't want to tell you what it's about. I want you to come up with that, what that it's about. And as I'm making it, I'm thinking, well, this buzzard's sort of waiting for him to die, maybe. Or maybe she's reminding him to live every day because life is short. Uh, maybe they just became friends because they're misfits. But he's very aware of it because the eyes are looking up at it. 